Abby just called off the wedding with Miles. I love colorful things, so we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. It's the challenge in The Sims 4 where you have 10 generations, and each generation is themed after a different color. The current generation is themed rose, but we just birthed the next generation, the yellow generation. I am so excited for kind of beginning yellow's journey. I hope that you guys like the name Summer. I checked with my Patreon members and they seem to love it, but let me know in the comments if you still like Summer. So, Poppy is on the precipice of getting married. So this episode is going to be Poppy's marriage or almost marriage before she just ends up dating for fun until her old age. I'm very excited for this terrible catastrophe wedding, mostly because all of my weddings are catastrophes anyway. So it'll feel good to just make it utter chaos. So without further ado, let's hop in. Like a little summer berry. Ah, so inquisitive. Oh, we also obviously need to do a house makeover. I also think maybe after the wedding is when she might decide to move. She might just be like, I need to move. I don't want to be across the hall from Haru anymore. Obviously my marriage failed and Haru was right. A lot of you told me that the slice of life mod is the reason why everyone kept showing up at the house. So I've taken out the slice of life mod for now. She won't be having like her blush and her crying eyes and some of the like fun little memories and things like that that we've been having. Oh my gosh, I forgot Jade and Guy and Arlo and Hunter are still over. So it's 8.30, it's a Friday evening. She does not have work tomorrow. It's kind of the perfect day to have a wedding. So it's the night before the wedding and we just had our sweet baby angel, Summer, who is chilling in here with her kitty. Oh my gosh, look how cute she is. But until then, we gotta actually remodel this office, which we were originally going to make into our little girl's room anyway. Okay, so there's this table. We could technically put it like here. I mean, it kind of looks good, but it takes up a lot of the hallway. We could put it here. Oh, that kind of looks nice. And then I honestly feel like she would keep some of this stuff. I don't know. How? Do, where would we put the office? Oh, this is gonna be a little challenging. We'll put this back in here for now. And then we put the table here. Okay, it's gonna be a little more cramped than usual. We'll put that in the inventory because we don't need that out all the time. But I think this'll work. So this'll be kind of more of her office area now. Maybe we'll put the bookshelf back here. Yeah, the birth certificate. Maybe we'll put it here above all of her little photos. She needs to take more photos of like her family members now. She's kind of getting cramped, which is another reason why I think she would move. And then we're gonna change it to be yellow. Let's see. I want something to be kind of spacey. <gasps> These are cute. They're only $2. That's really cute. We might go with this. All right, so we're gonna be doing kids room, yellow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yellow things. So this little toddle bed looks cute. Oh my gosh, this toddler has a big room. I'm just realizing this is like a really big room for a toddler. We could do a high chair just to feed her every once in a while. I do sometimes like having the high chair as an option, you know? Obviously we need a potty. Wait, there's this one. That one's really cute. It's a little fancier. I mean, you know, our poppy's a fancy girl. There's like these little bookcases. That's cute. Let's grab that. Put this in the corner here instead. And then we'll put food here, potty. In the bathroom obviously would be more ideal, but there doesn't seem to be enough room in the bathroom. So we'll put it here. I don't love the food being right next to the thing. I mean, we could put that there. I feel like you can still kind of walk around it. Sure. Maybe we don't have it right now. I don't think we need it. And then we'll have like toys. She gets all the little yellow toys. Get a little heart bear blocks. A ducky, a little box for where the toys go. Okay, lighting. Yes, we definitely want one of those like night lights of some sort. We could put like a little light here. This is unnecessary, but we will sell all this stuff when we move. So everything's fine. I'm not wasting my money, mostly, I don't think. Here it is, the little night light. We'll make it like small, like an actual night light is. You know how like kids have these tiny itty bitty night lights next to their bed? They're so cute. Anything else that we might need? Oh, we should put like a little curtain up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curtain, 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 curtain. Yeah, like that. Move this over, put this in the middle of the curtains. Put this here. Again, have the toy box here. This toy box is huge. Do I size it down? It looks so much better that way. I wonder if it's still functional. Well, we'll find out. Oh, we need a rug. Oh, look. That's cute. Okay, we'll put that there. 
there. I wasn't even looking for that. I kind of just wanted like a little yellow rug. This fractal one might be good. I think I might want to change the wallpaper just so that it's a little less busy. Like that's really cute with the penguins. Okay, well, let's go with the penguin one. I think that makes more sense. Also, it's cheaper. Yay, cheaper. And then we'll put maybe some cute little posters on the walls. Oh, wow. That's really adorable. So subtle. Wow, I'm just really going in on this baby room now. I can't help it. It is who I am. Oh yeah, I wanted the little poof. The little pillows to just sit on the floor with. Here they are. Yeah, okay, cute, cute, cute. This will be kind of part of the little play area. Oh, nice. There's just nothing up here is the problem. I don't know. We could put like one of these in. You know how like parents have these to kind of chill with, with the kid? Yeah, you know, it's something. It's not perfect, but it's still cute and we Gucci. Oh my gosh, look at little Summer. Oh yeah, she's a hundred percent alien little girl like look at this alien girl i bet rosie's like not handling no longer being the baby very well <laughs> i think like rosie's probably like why mom why did you get a kid okay sweet baby angel why don't you go play with some blocks you're so smart look at how cute she is she's such a cute little kid honestly her little yellow eyes look a little creepy with the purple skin but it's it's all a look she's a very colorful sim i'm not gonna lie oh my gosh the day before the wedding we're gonna have to do a little wedding makeovers for everybody too poppy's bopping she's like having a good day she's like i aged up my kid i had a good party my baby's growing up Summer's a little tired, so why don't you read Summer to sleep? Be a good mama. Okay, I guess she's not gonna read Summer to sleep, probably because Summer's busy with the block, so she doesn't want to bug her. So she's just gonna go to bed. Oh my. And Summer, meanwhile, is gonna just play with her blocks. What a little cutie. But honestly, the fact that she's purple might be kind of a problem in terms of like some future political bonanzas. You know what I mean? Like, how is Poppy gonna explain that, that her child is purple? I feel like as Poppy's a baby, she probably won't bring her out much she's gonna probably keep her hidden and then when she's like a kid she's gonna make her cover up and i think that might be a big component of why number one summer ends up wanting to kind of be more interested in space but also i think that would make sense why summer is not a big fan of her mom when she gets older oh no new quirk emotion bomb Poppy is finding it difficult to process her negative emotions in a healthy manner. It's so Poppy. Feelings of anger or sadness quickly overwhelm and always result in an overdramatic emotional meltdown. Poppy is really going through it right now. I, oh, poor girl. She's just having it so rough. Oh my gosh. You should not be bawling the day before your wedding, Poppy. <laughs> poor Pop. Ugh. Check yourself out. Yeah, check yourself out, Pop. You know you're hot. Boom, look at her. Choo! Give me on the wall. Who's the prettiest on the wall? After Poppy finished checking herself out in the mirror, she thinks she's looking very attractive. And so thinks the majority of the world. How cute is that? Okay, give yourself a little pep talk. And then we are going to plan an outfit. Because we got to plan our outfit for our wedding. I feel like Poppy would 100% be the like courthouse wedding kind of vibe girl. So yeah. let's get her a fancy courthouse wedding look. We could do something like that. Here, let's, let's just go for color red and see what comes up. If she's doing like a little courthouse wedding, she might want something a little more casual. This one's kind of cute on her though. I'm not gonna lie. I normally don't like this, but in the red, it's kind of fun. Maybe we'll go for this. She's a dramatic girl. I feel like she could rock it. She will rock it. All right, and then for accessories, I love that there's pearls now with country living. I'm very happy about that. I think she would wear pearls at her wedding. I think that 100% works. And then maybe hair. Oh, pretty, but no, not the vibe. That is too long. Her hair is not that long. Oh, I think she would wear something like this though. Just a sleek bun. And then we can give her some accessories. I feel like the veil makes sense for her. We could do like the white with pink again. That's what we did as a lot as a kid. I think it goes well with the red. Oh, I haven't updated her eyes to those new CC eyes that I've been playing with. We could update her eyes too. I kind of like the dark red for Poppy. I think that looks nice on her. Ooh, maybe we should update all of her eyes. Give me one second. I'm gonna update her eyes. Oh my gosh, her eyes look very intense red right now, which I don't know. I think I like it though. I think that's looking pretty. She does still look kind of like a vampire with those eyes, but I think she's always kind of looked like that, right? She is very traditional. You know what? Maybe she does wear kind of a right dress. Like maybe the whole outfit doesn't really look like her. That would be so sad. I kind of like that. I kind of like that 
she wears like the white dress and the, all the stuff kind of like correctly. And then when she actually gets married for her, she wears like stuff that she would want. Oh my gosh, this 100% looks like courthouse wedding vibes. Yeah, th this whole thing is just gonna scream not poppy. And then we're gonna just be like, all right, look at that, the ring. Ah, I can't believe she's getting married. Is she gonna check in on Summer? Oh, she was gonna check in on Summer, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed her really fast. And then I need to pick out like a venue. I wonder if there's like a little courthouse where we can have like a little courthouse wedding. Poppy's very different from me. I, I would never have a courthouse wedding. I don't think. For house wedding venue. Okay. Okay. This looks like pretty good. I'm all this after the typical country courthouse where my husband and I were married years ago. A place for my practical sims who have maybe already been living in sin for years anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to quickly make it official. I included an event space upstairs for gold. Everything is super simple, but the budget wedding in mind, courtroom with wedding arch, judge's chamber. This is perfect. Oh, look, summer's up. Look at sweet baby summer. Play a tablet game and listen to music. Oh, she wants a tablet. We didn't get her a tablet yet. Oh, can you pet the baby? and babble to be to the cat. Oh my gosh, Summer and the cat are gonna get along very well. Oh, so cute. They just became friends. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, meanwhile, mom's just feeling sad, just deeply sad. I wonder why, Poppy, I wonder why. She's gonna go cry it out in her bed. Oh my gosh, Poppy. I mean, if you gotta do it, girl. Oh my gosh. Look at her. She's just like so sad. Summer's just like, la la la, I'm a little girl. <laughs> My heart is breaking. Remember our little girl, our little princess? Also, I think during the wedding, Summer's gonna go be staying with, with grandma, so. I know you don't really get to pick the babysitter in the game, but that's canon. I'm going to go save and manage worlds, and then I'm gonna put down the courthouse. I think I'm gonna keep it in San Machuno. Let's go, my library. We're gonna put down the courthouse venue. We could replace this karaoke bar. Yeah, there's two karaoke bars. We'll replace that one. Okay, there it is. Oh my gosh, look how cute it is. This is actually a very cute venue. I am so excited. There's even a place to get photos and have like a little reception if we want. And then down here, of course, there's like a place where they get married. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. How creative. I'm very excited for this non-wedding. <laughs> it's the morning of the wedding. She clearly has cold feet. She's thinking like, what am I doing? She's super upset about how everything's gone down. Nothing's going according to her plan. What do we need to work on today? I mean, there's not really much. Oh, we could try to teach Summer to be potty trained. That's probably always good for us. Come here, Summer, let's potty train. Summer's like, okay. Oh, you know what? We should invite mom over. Also, shall we just talk about how Raphael's still alive and kicking and fine? Look at him. He's perfect. Okay, Mentha's gonna be right over. Oh, fabulous. Mom is here. Oh, she needs to pee. Well, I guess we'll pee first before we chat with mom. All right, go pee. Oh, Summer loved it. Wait, what? Where's grandma going? Why is grandma leaving? Okay, grandma just left. Rude. I don't know what just happened with that. Oh, it's Haru, it's dad. Oh my gosh, she still hasn't even met her father. That is really awkward. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, okay, there's Min. There she is. Grandma's over, it's 1 p.m. All right, so let's go. Plan a social event. Okay, so we're going to do a wedding. Obviously it's Hoppy and Miles. No. Okay, we need at least two people invited. Okay, good to know. So who's invited to our wedding? Oh, I feel like obviously Guy. Guy would want, almost Guy would like officiate. I feel like that'd be so cute. Since Minth would be with the kids, I feel like Raphael would want to come too. And then no caterer, mixologist or musician. And then it's going to be at courthouse wedding venue. Yay! Okay, here we go, guys. It's happening. I cannot believe it's happening. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at Guy, he's like, haha, he's like making fun of her dress. <laughs> guys, stop joking with her. Okay, let's change her outfit. We're going to change it to, of course, her, her little courthouse wedding outfit. She looks so cute and dad is so proud. So glad that you're here. Let's thank them both for coming. All the boys are cheering on a little pop. I think she'll want to get photos with all of them actually too. 
No, it's so cute. She's like ignoring Miles. They're trying to be supportive, but they're very both confused, I think, by her decision. I also am a little bit too, Pop. I can't lie. I can't lie. Well, she's gonna go in. I think she's gonna go talk with Miles. She's like holding his hands like, are you ready for this? Oh my, okay, girl. Okay, she's going in on it. All right, go take a photo with dad on your wedding day. It's so cute. Look at the little courthouse. Oh my gosh, how cute are they? Oh my gosh, obviously. Oh, cutie. She's so big. I can't believe she's getting married today, even though she's technically not. All right, let's go take a picture with Guy. She looks amazing though, even though this is not the vibe that I think she would choose. Still think she looks so cute. Oh, he's like, yeah, let's take this picture. It's gonna look so cute, like next to their photo as kids. Oh my gosh, look at these besties. We're gonna take a photo with our husband. I wish that someone was here to take our photo because that would have been nice. Okay. Here we go. All right. Yep, their photo looks awkward as expected. Okay, so we've taken all the photos and stuff. We'll maybe like sweet talk him. Oh, she's feeling very flirty today. All right, let's all go over here. Let's go sit together downstairs, everyone. Oh, wow. Oh, here we go. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's really happening. All right, sit down. And then she's going to get married to Miles Leagrab. Oh my gosh, it's happening, guys. It's happening. Everybody sit over here, okay? Everybody sit down. There we go. Now get married to Miles. Oh my gosh, dad. <gasps> Call off the wedding! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep it happening, but I can't believe that copped up. Okay, here we go. They're all watching. Oh, they are sitting in the back. Oh, oh my gosh, how good I is. She can't do this. She's gonna call off the wedding. She's like, I can't marry you. I can't marry you, I'm sorry. This can't happen. Poppy just called off the wedding with Miles. <laughs> oh, he's super mad too. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, yep, I think we need to just break up. They're lovebirds, they're not boyfriend, girlfriend anymore. Oh my gosh, she just walked out and she's gonna go get a BLT sandwich. Girl, oh my gosh, look at him, he's storming. He's storming. He's talking to himself in the mirror like, this girl doesn't deserve you. No one does this to Miles Landgrab. Wait till my mother hears about this. <laughs> I think he's gonna be like, hey, that was uh, weird, Poppy. You okay? You wanna talk about it? She's like, no. <laughs> One more thing on the Rose Generation. Down, baby, whoop, whoop. Now we only need to do the politician career and get married for the first time as an elder and we're done, guys. Oh, and we need to finish the serial romantic thing, of course. Dad's checking in too. Look at dad. Oh my gosh. I'm glad that her BFF could be by her side for this moment. I feel like she's really happy to have Guy backing her up. Thank him for coming. Be like, thank you anyway. He went to the restroom. Oh my gosh. Why don't you tell him to leave? Look how mad he is. Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed that she just did this. He's like, Oh my gosh, he's he might actually try to ruin her career, which would be really bad. But I think I think Poppy has got this. She's feeling so confident. She's like, I don't care. She dodged a bullet from getting cold feet, just narrowly avoided a very serious relationship. She's like, good. She's feeling awesome about all these decisions. She's like, you know what? I want to do this my own way. I'm gonna have this kid and raise this kid, and I'm gonna you know date other people, and it's gonna be great. I feel like we should just end it early. Well, it happened. Yep, it did. Oh my gosh, it's so awkward. He's. So Super pissed. Ah, drama! I feel like now she can start dating other sims. Because <laughs> we still need five more boyfriends and girlfriends, but she has all of her young adult and adult life to do that. So she lost a celebrity level. Wow, he really did do that. I'm gonna say that Miles Landgraf trashed her in the media. And so people kind of are like forgetting about her or or he's kind of like stopping things. She wants to woohoo with someone though, or have a water balloon. But let's go check in on our sweet, sweet little girl. Be like, hey, Summer, you know, mommy's not getting married anymore. Uh, Summer's probably like, I don't know what this means. I love you, mom. <laughs> and she's like, yep, okay, good. Oh, she's gonna give her a little hug after the end of a long day. I'm gonna save here. I do want her to move. I feel like that would be like kind of her next thing is like she would move house. This is a lot of big changes. Can we have Mint come over? Where's Mint? She doesn't even know Mint. Okay, well, we definitely need to fix that because for generation three yellow, the story goes, growing up, you never had a close relationship with your mother and spent the majority of your time alone in your room, obsessing over space. You just really love space. You'll do whatever it 
takes to get us to six them no matter the cost, which makes sense because she's she's an alien. Never have any close friends or relationships other than grandparent from generation one until the grandparent dies. So we're going to have obviously Minth and her have like the closest relationship. Maybe we'll just add Minth to our family for like a minute. Add to family. There we go. Okay. Let's just like keep interacting with our little daughter and also give some pets to Rosie. Poor Minth. I feel like Minth might need a makeover. Maybe a grandma makeover. And maybe I'll give Poppy a mom makeover. It's been a minute since Poppy got a makeover too. Everybody gets a makeover and we move. Lots of things happening in this episode. Grandma is going to give little Summer a story about space and be like, I was a scientist and I was abducted by aliens. And then I had Poppy and then Poppy had you. And so I've been to Sixum, but Poppy never went. She never seemed interested. Her younger sister might be though. Maybe Summer will get along with like her aunt when she's like older. I think that would be cute. Aw, sweet baby angel Rosie loves food. <laughs> Can't blame her. Oh, and Rosie loves our, our little girl too. Oh, so cute. Grandma, can I have food now? Oh, she could bite her. Oh my gosh. Okay, Summer really needs food. All right, let's open this up and have our little baby girl grab a serving. And then we'll have Minth actually plan her outfit. Makeover time! I love makeovers. If you guys wanna see more makeovers of the family, like Minth's family, let me know and I will do that in a stream. I'll make over like Raphael and the rest of the gang. I still love her makeup and all of this stuff going on. I don't think I need to really change any of this. I think she's looking perfect. I think it's the outfits I'm more want to take a look at. For jeans. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> I love this full green look for grandma. Love that. Okay. Love that for her. Didn't even have to try with that one. She's like very, I think, kind of hip and young her whole life. So I don't think she would immediately like, be very like old woman in terms of how she dresses. <gasps> this is cute. Okay. That looks very cute on her and it's very minty. I love that. That looks kind of cute on her. I could see mint rocking that for hot weather. And then cold weather, I think is honestly still cute. I I think she looks fantastic. I love Mint's outfits here. So 10 out of 10. All right, so for Poppy, Poppy is now a mom. I still love some of the vibes of Poppy, but I am wondering if it's time to change up her hair. We've had her hair in that look for a while. We could do something even shorter, but that looks so cool on her. I don't know. Should we just do it? YOLO, let's do it. Oh, this one looks good. Oh my gosh, what a bold move. I don't think this is a sign of her being more chaotic though. I think this is a sign of her kind of just taking control of her own life and just being like, yep, yeah, I'm not gonna adhere to what everybody wants me to be. I think this is such a mom look. Wow, she's really rocking some mom energy right there. Oh, agreed, girl. You are making this hard on me. You know what? She's just gonna have two outfits for now because I cannot pick a third. Obviously, we're gonna change her hair in her alien form as well, even though she just never is in her alien form, which I think might can be confusing to our little girl. Like she she has purple skin. Her mom doesn't have purple skin. Like what's the deal? And it's that Poppy does have purple skin. She just doesn't show it. Poppy chopped off all her hair and now we're gonna have Summer kind of be eating. I wanna see if maybe we can move. Mint is going to put Summer to bed. Helping out while Poppy's kind of dealing with the aftermath of the very quick and unsuccessful wedding. I'm going to see how much we can get if we're moving. I'm not moving them yet. I'm just curious how much money we would get. I'm very excited. There's so much new going on. It's like a full refresh for this series. So they have 42,000 simoleons. And then I think if they sell everything in the apartment, they'll have a lot more. Let's go Brindleton Bank because I've not lived there yet. It feels very much like a place where you might have a very fancy house. And I'm going to put down the furnished rose house on like the smallest little lot. Okay, it's still 81,000 simoleons. Okay. Why did I make such an expensive house? All right, we gotta make this thing more affordable. So maybe we'll take out this outdoor table and this like outdoor kind of fireplace area. How much is that? Oh yeah, that POTUS will get there eventually. I'm trying to find the most expensive things that we just don't need in the house. Oh, we could delete that because we already have one of those. And we could not have two chairs. We could just have one. Okay, perfect. Things are coming along. Goodbye, jacuzzi. We don't need you, I'm sorry. This wallpaper is also very expensive. I used very expensive wallpaper, I'm finding out. Maybe do we delete the bushes out in the back? Okay, that's kind of helping. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, I, I hate 
hate deleting all this stuff in this little house. It's such a cute little house. Is it this? Oh, that is pretty expensive. Okay, what if we made it a cheaper appliance? Ooh, this one's cute and that's cheaper. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. We could take one of these away. They look so good together. Let's just see how we're at here and if we need to keep deleting things. Is this good enough? Can we live in the new house yet? Do you want to know what I think? I think this is probably as good as we're going to get in terms of like making things more affordable. It's 64,000, so we'll see. All right, let's save and go to the managed worlds. Let's see if they can afford it. It might be a stretch. <laughs> Been working so hard though. Move out household. Okay, let's see. Okay, and Brindleton bay what if we sell all our furniture <gasps> we can afford it if we sell all our furniture okay 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 with two thousand simoleons left to our name i think that's worth it i think we can do it it's moving day we're going to go grab all of the things that we absolutely can't live without in this house and then we're going to move the family out. She's like, I can't live near Haru anymore. Let's in her inventory pop in some of these photos that we have saved from our childhood. All these things that we, we love. We can't forget, of course, the daisy that her dad gave her and the poppy statue that her mom gave her. All right, let's move, we're moving. Mom's like, she chopped her hair off. She ended her wedding she broke up with her arguably the love of her life and she's just like all right burn it all down we're moving <laughs> And we are going to Brindleton Bay and we are going to be selling everything. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm finally moving to the house that I built so long ago for her. I hope I still like it. All right, we're home. Look at our sweet little angel. Oh my gosh, we're home. Mint has come obviously to help out. This is incredible. Poppy's got her new room. Oh, it still looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. This house still looks pretty good. Having the toddler on the second floor, honestly, Kelsey, rookie mistake, but here we are. So yeah, also it's it's such a poppy rookie mistake, I think, to have done that. And then her office, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. There's her daisy. Maybe she puts the poppy statue in her, her daughter's room. I think that would be kind of cute. Oh, that's so cute. And we'll put up the birth certificate here in the office and then her childhood like friend photos. That would be kind of nice in this hallway. We're gonna put them all over here. A little gallery wall. Perfect. Okay, that's very cute. That's very cute. Looks a lot more homey now. <gasps> oh my gosh, wow, we're here. Pinch me, pinch me, pinch me, pinch me. I can't believe I'm using this, this house that I built for her so long ago. First time in the new house. She's nervous, the rose bushes. Rosie, come inside, please so I can lock the door for you and you're not allowed to leave again. Okay, fabulous. Okay, now we're gonna lock door for all cats. Oh, look at Summer already figuring out where her bed is. Like, uh, I'm gonna take myself to bed. She's getting used to the, the new kitchen. We don't really have any decor in here either, but you know, it's all good. We really did it for our little angel baby, Summer. This room is a lot smaller than Summer's first room, but I'm sure we'll expand it at some point. Poppy wanted herself an office. Oh my gosh. Well guys, I think I might leave this here. We're gonna start work up again and we're gonna continue taking care of Summer in our brand new house that is all beautifully red and cream and just a lot fancier than she had before because of course she is now a council person and on her way to becoming the president. So she needs a more presidential home. I think Mint will obviously kind of go back and forth a lot, but for the most part, I think she'll be here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.